Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to give you guys some initial impressions of the Asus Transformer Prime. Now this is pretty much the most popular tablet on the market right now. It's back ordered one to two months currently. I was lucky enough to finally get one in my possession, so I wanted to share some initial impressions. This is the 32 gig gray model. It's priced at $499.99. It also comes in a champagne color, as well as a 64 gig capacity priced at $599.99. Uh, in terms of specs, it just builds upon the success of the original Transformer. Uh, first and foremost, it is running Honeycomb 3.2 out of the box, but it will get Ice Cream Sandwich on January 12th. So this will be the second device out there on the market and the first tablet to run Ice Cream Sandwich, which is pretty important. But more importantly, it's sporting the Tegra 3 quad-core processor, which is hands down the most powerful a chipset for any mobile device on the market right now and this is the first device to actually utilize it so you're future proofed at least in terms of my initial impressions and I do think uh, that platform is critical going ahead uh, not only for things like multitasking and gaming but true 1080p video output via that micro HDMI port on this device are really what you know the Tegra 3 represent as opposed to the previous generation the Tegra 2 uh, moving past the processor, you've got a gig of RAM, Wi-Fi, B, G, and N, of course, uh, Bluetooth 2.1. You also have a micro SD card slot for storage expansion. Certainly a good thing considering a lot of tablets these days are starting to drop storage expansion. Uh, Asus really did refine the entire look and just polish this device and build off the success of the original Transformer. You know, the display, a 1280 by 800, 10.1 inch uh, super IPS Plus display that's really impressive, certainly in my opinion better than the display on the original Transformer and it can hang with uh, pretty much any of the uh, best in the business right now. Uh, build quality is just, as I said, uh, great. I mean it's far superior to the original Transformer, that's not a knock against the original Transformer, it's just a much better tablet on the whole. Uh, in terms of webcams, front facing is 1.2 megapixel. The rear is, or rather has been bumped up to 8 megapixel. Also does have an LED flash. Um, and that pretty much rounds out the features. It weighs in at uh, a little over one and a quarter pounds. So really solid, um, you know, not as uh, wide elongated as the original transformer. So a smaller form factor, less bezel. Uh, battery life is rated at 12 hours. I'm expecting something more along the lines of 10 to 11, but we'll see. As you can see right now, I'm at 25%, but I just uh, started using the device. I haven't even cycled through the battery life yet. Just wanted to give you guys uh, some initial impressions. Let me go ahead and show you guys the product since I've pretty much given you all of the uh, specs. As you can see, again, really nice display. Uh, it does have uh, Gorilla Glass uh, over it, so uh, good to know, but something I think also many of you have come to expect. Uh, at the bottom, or actually, you know what, I'll just flip it over and go to the back first. The back of the device, you can see we've got the uh, Asus branding, as well as this uh, metallic ring uh, that they've described it as, and it's just really solid. Uh, looks good, feels good, nothing bad to say about it. The 8 megapixel cam, you can see up at the top with the LED flash. The top of the device, you've also got a power button with an LED for uh, notifications, both with regard to charge, as well as just general notifications. Your volume rocker is right here, micro HDMI output there, the micro SD card slot you can see right there, and then um, already showed you guys at, or no I did not, the bottom has the charging port as well as the uh, two connecting ports for the keyboard docking station, of course this is a transformer after all. Uh, you then also have a speaker right here, can't really give you guys any impressions on sound as of yet in terms of quality. Your three and a half millimeter headphone jack is right there, and then there are a couple microphones spread across the device, you know, in order to enhance its video conferencing capability. So, really like what I see here out of the box, and you know, just look forward to giving you guys further impressions of this device, especially as it does, uh, you know, get that over the air ice cream sandwich update. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, and of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.